carport had a foot and a half of water in it yesterday. My carport. I have catfish swimming through my carport. Some neighbors like that fellow there in Wesley Chapel talking about being flooded out. They say the water's not from a storm, but rather construction along State Route 56. One Vietnam veteran is now turning to aid on your side for help. Brittany Muller joins us now live from Betts Drive with the story. Brittany. Jen Keith, good evening. The water has receded several inches, but neighbors say they are fed up over this water. Some have lived here for decades and haven't seen anything like this except during Hurricane Sandy and Irma. As new development pops up along State Road 56. Whoever designed that drainage system back there did it incorrectly. Jeff Allring is a disabled Vietnam veteran. With this flooding, he's unable to use his electric wheelchair or flush the toilet. We know we live in a flood zone and uh, we expect like Hurricane Irma and Sandy years ago, we took on water then. But this stuff is man-made. Neighbors blame poor irrigation from the development. It's terrible. It's awful. It's, you, we think, what are we going to do about this? I mean, you know, we're going to have to live in this while they keep pumping over here. We accept storm flooding. And it, it comes and it goes within a couple of days. All right? But this is a man-made thing, like I said. And uh, we don't, we can't accept that. So they've called Pasco County as well as Southwest Florida Water Management District. They turn us off like a light switch. They say you live in a flood, flood zone, you know, too bad. The district told aid on your side there have been several illicit surface discharges of turbid water from permitted construction sites in the area. Added, it's requested that the contractor stop the dewatering until it has been approved by the district. What needs to be done? The water has to be, uh, their drainage system has to be corrected and diverted a different way. <laughs> Stop dumping it here. We don't want the man-made floods. We'll take the natural ones. The county says Betts Drive is private and the county has no jurisdiction over it. The county also says the standing water is from the New River, which has crested, and it'll take several days for it to return to normal water levels. Reporting live this evening in Wesley Chapel, Brittany Muller, 8 on your side. Thank you.